Hello everyone. I'm very pleased to see you again uh, in Laodong Seas World. Based on the latest U.S. Uh, census, among the 330 million American citizens, there are about 5 million American Chinese, the 1.5% of the total, and mainly populated on the both coasts of California and New York. In Texas, there are about 130 Thousands. In Florida, it's about 60 thousand. As to American Chinese, we just start from the early Chinese laborers to America and their history of blood and tears. It was recorded that the first three Chinese came to San Francisco in fall 1848. Until 1852, the number of the registered Chinese immigrants uh, was uh, 18,434. During the two decades uh, from 1848 to 1868, a gold rush in California attracted uh, large groups of uh, Chinese immigrants, even to 100,000. Yet half of them returned to China due to racial discrimination. From uh, 1869 to 1882, a new round of 200,000 Chinese immigrated to America. 70% of them lived in California, and almost 8% of the total population there. Since 1852, the some control policies to Asian immigrants that undertook in California. Meanwhile, a heavier taxes the levy to Chinese miners. In 1853, American Supreme Court ruled that Chinese residents were not permitted for election, for witness in court, nor for naturalization of being a citizen. The white laborers were also very hostile to Chinese laborers. In February 1867, the hundreds of white laborers attacked upon the Chinese who were working on the railroad and forced them away from the construction industry in that area. During uh, 1863 to 1869, American uh, Transcontinental Railroad was on the way, and the uh, western part of it uh, had to break through the high mountains. Sierra uh, Nevada, uh, great dangers in digging the tunnels. Uh, lots of uh, European laborers uh, gave up already. The contractors of uh, Leland Stanford and Charles uh, Crocker had to turn to the Chinese labor in California. Initially, Stanford didn't believe the Chinese labor is strong enough uh, for such jobs of heavy load. Yet Crocker insists that Chinese people that had built the Great Wall in history, they would be good enough for uh, building the uh, railway. As the project developed, a Chinese uh, labor reached to 15,000, almost 90% of the railway uh, labor force. The harsh conditions of the freezing coldness on the high mountains costed the lives of hundreds and thousands of Chinese laborers. And uh, almost under every railroad tie buried the bones of them. While they suffered a great sacrifices, they were also under the infamous uh, the discrimination and bullets. With less payments, the worse conditions, and futile protests. In opening ceremony, no one even mentioned their participation in building the railroad. From 1870 to 1880, America suffered an economic crisis and unemployment. Violence against the Chinese laborers occurred in some Western states. In 1876, U.S. presidential election, uh, Republicans and uh, Democrats both ruled discrimination to uh, Chinese, requested the U.S. Congress investigate the status of Mongolian race, immigrants, and the laborers. In fall 1877, the American the Labor Party even shouted to uh, prevent Chinese to California as against to leprosy. In February 1879, U.S. Congress passed the bill on limitation to Chinese immigrants that on every steamboat 
according to America, the amount of Chinese people could not be over 15. On May 6, 1882, the U.S. government approved Chinese Exclusion Act for the reason that overdue Chinese immigrants might disturb the social stability to some areas. This was the first American immigration law against a nation or a race in history. Within 10 years, did all the Chinese laborers, whether with skill or not, were blocked from entering America. On September uh, 2nd, uh, 1885, at Rock Springs Town, Wyoming, there happened a genocide to Chinese miners. About 150 mobs with firearms attacked a Chinese residential area, resulting in 28 people killed and 15 injured, and followed with looting and arson. The federal troops came to uh, appease the riots, and the U.S. government compensated more than $140,000 to the victims and their families. Yet the local uh, grand jury didn't charge any suspect for committing criminal crime. In May 1892, the U.S. Congress extended the Exclusion Act for 10 years requiring all the Chinese in America apply for a residence permit to avoid a possible arrest or deportation. In 1904, the act renewed permanent and unconditionally, which leading a nationwide boycott to U.S. cargoes in China. This uh, bill was terminated in December 1943. An American Congress apologized to Chinese people in 2011 uh, for the exclusion. In 1903, a sensational suicide incident happened in U.S. to a Chinese diplomat uh, named uh, Tom Kim Yung. Tom Kim Yung was a Chinese military attache in America. At evening of September 13, 1903, in San Francisco, uh, when passing a bridge in a suburb, he uh, ran into a conflict with a police officer named John Kramer. Afterwards, he committed suicide uh, due to the insult uh, inflicted at the age of 45. There were two different statements about the story. One statement was like this. The police officer misjudged Tom Kim Yong as a person wanted and approached for some cross-examination. Tom Kim got embroiled in fighting with the officer due to language miscommunication. Then another officer that's brought and two passengers helped to make him subdued. With his uh, pigtail tied to the rail of the bridge, Tom Kim uh, was put in police custody and uh, was released soon after his uh, diplomatic immunity identified. After he got back to his residence, uh, the sense of shame caused his suicide with guests and uh, left a note of will. U.S. government uh, undertook investigation, yet the police officer was sentenced uh, not guilty. The alternative uh, statement was that at the evening, uh, Tom Kim was leaving for his residence. Uh, when he approached the bridge, a police officer broke in to his front and spoke rudely, a Chinese yellow pig, and flicked his hat off to the ground at the marking a long breed and a pigtail. Tom Kim Yong uh, picked up his hat and said in English, Sir, please behave. Chinese people are also human beings. Are they? The police held Tom's chin with contempt. Yes, they are, Tom Kim retorted. Instantly, the police slapped Tom's face heavily. Tom Kim uh, was a military attache and had been in the third place in the Imperial Martial Art exam in 1899 and once as Emperor's bodyguard. Facing challenge, he just punched back and knocked the officer down to the ground. The police blew a whistle and several more cops uh, turned around and surrounded 
and beat up uh, Tom Kim at the bridge. Then he uh, was handcuffed to the bridge, and American onlookers laughed and clapped their hands. Tom Kim was uh, put in police custody and bailed out until midnight. Chin government was weak and uh, impotent and was so tough even for his diplomats. The injured black and blue Tom Kim was uh, ashamed of his mistreatment and sighed. When will Chinese suffer no more bullets? He jumped off the bridge and killed himself. Chinese were astonished of this mournful news. Liang Qichao angered. It's intolerable, it's such a shame to our great China. The tragedy of Tom Kim Yong was his own misfortune and also a huge humiliation to the nation of China. Most of the early Chinese laborers came from Guangzhou, Fujian, and Hong Kong. After 1950, many Chinese immigrated to America from Taiwan and Southeast Asia. Since 1979, and Central U.S. normalization, and uh, with uh, China's open door and reform policy, large groups of overseas students came to America, and even in 1990s, that appeared a wave of uh, immigrants. This year, uh, due to uh, China's uh, rapid uh, economy, and many of its uh, rich people and traveled and invested in America, including printing real estate. The income median for American Chinese family is uh, 70,000, that with 30% of families lower than 40,000. They mainly work in education, uh, medical service, travel agencies, and hospitality and uh, manufacturing. 80% of American Chinese are wage uh, salary class, and 13% in governmental institutions. Uh, 6% as uh, private owners. American Chinese care about education uh, with higher degrees for the new generation and mainly work in technology and uh, engineering, uh, yet fewer in law and uh, politics. Statistically, uh, American Chinese spend over 300 billion US dollars annually, the highest in all immigration groups. Yet political leverage from them is an satisfactory. One important reason is uh, the lack of uh, close ties among them, which made it hard to be a strong force. The five million American Chinese are from uh, different regions and different backgrounds. Some of them and, uh, have already deep rooted in this new continent, and some miss their motherland in China. They mostly wish prosperity, stability, and progresses in China, with only a few engaged in rumor mongering and defaming. In America, many Chinese have achieved great successes, for example, in politics, uh, such as Governor Gary Locke, and Representative of the House, and David Wu, Secretary Alien Zhao, scientists like Franklin Chenning Yang. Cheng Dao Li and Samuel Ting, architect uh, uh, Yu Ming Pei, a detective at Henry Chang Yu Li, athlete as uh, Jeremy Lin and uh, Alien Feng Gu, etc. Uh, racial discrimination is illegal in America, yet in politics, uh, whether the White House or Congress, both assume China as opponent. In all elections, the issue of China or Taiwan is always a hot topic. No matter the Democrats, Pelosi, or the Republican, McCarthy, the uh, both like to visit Taiwan and for getting some more ballots. Meanwhile, China has become more powerful, a formidable competitor or adversary to America. Some views in Texas I recently proposed no Chinese companies or individuals are allowed to purchase real estate. Uh, Florida Governor DeSantis agreed to follow and uh, quote China, uh, our hostile nation. The so-called China spy balloon news became the headlines these days in America. The United States is a country of uh, immigrants that all people from the world, including Chinese, contributed greatly to America. 
Chinese Exclusion Act, and was actually a bad time in history. And now the clamor against the China or Chinese it is certainly not a signal of danger and alarm. Above is today's program, and thank you for your watching, and see you next time. Thank you, bye-bye.